From the moment you buy your car, it starts to lose value, something commonly known as depreciation. The amount by which a car decreases in value is usually particularly severe in the first few years from new. Should your car be stolen or written off, your motor insurer will only give you the market value of your car at that time. This is likely to be significantly less than the amount you originally paid and maybe less than the finance outstanding on the vehicle, which means you could be left without a car and with outstanding finance or without any money to buy another equivalent car. And this is where gap insurance comes in. Gap insurance pays out if your car is a total write-off or stolen and unrecoverable. The gap payout tops up your motor insurer settlement to an agreed level, typically either your outstanding finance or the purchase price of the car. We look at the policy types next. Finance gap pays the difference between your motor insurer settlement and the amount required to pay off your finance in full which means you have no further repayments to make, but also nothing towards another car. A finance gap policy is most useful if you have a large finance settlement that greatly exceeds the value of the car. This is most likely in the first years of purchase and if you have a high loan interest rate and have deferred part of the loan payment to the end, such as with PCP or lease purchase loans. Return to invoice gap pays up to the difference between your motor insurer settlement and the original purchase price of the car. You need to buy the car from a dealership and get your gap policy within a month of purchase for this policy type. Finance gap and return to invoice can be combined in one policy, which tops up your motor insurer settlement to the maximum of your finance settlement or the amount you paid for your car. Return to value gap pays up to the difference between your motor insurer settlement and the market value of your car when you took out the policy. This allows for buying the car privately or buying a gap insurance policy sometime after the original car purchase. Return to invoice and return to value are particularly suitable if you've paid a large deposit for your car or you have paid entirely with cash or a finance type not covered by the finance gap policy and if you would want to replace your car with a new model if it was written off. Your gap policy, when you take out a gap policy, you agree a limit to the payment amount you receive. And this is the maximum payout from your gap policy over and above the amount you would receive from your motor insurer. Always make sure you read your gap policy so you're familiar with what is covered and how to claim should you need to. Remember, you have 14 days to cancel without charge from the day you take out the policy if you find it's not suitable.